Good morning, everyone. So I am uh, on the beach here. Can't really see much, but probably hear it. Um, there's a pelican. So beautiful. Um, I wanted to share a very private but feeling that many of you, many of us have been going through and um, I just wanted you all to know so anybody who hears this, watches it, and that can relate, please share this with anybody that you know that it could benefit from. I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe and share and hit the notification bell. I don't do videos every week. I don't do them daily like some people do, but when I feel um, inclined or something important that I've gone through emotionally, I like to share with others because, um, sorry, I look like a mess probably all swollen in my face um, just because of what some folks are going through I just wanted everybody to know that they're not alone in going through intense emotional anguish uh, so I'm going through a lot of changes in my life right now, and as you know, if you watched my last couple videos, I'm going to be going on an extended trip, and it's kind of like a soul-searching trip, something, you know, some new sites, uh, new places that I desperately need right now to expand my consciousness and be open to new ideas before I come back to where I'm currently staying. And so I've just been so emotional and yesterday was like the worst that I've felt in a very long time and I guess it's my body my spirit purging all this past energy or current energy that I need to transmute into just love and just to go through it all and let it go and yesterday I cried the entire day, all day long. And I almost felt like I was gonna lose it. I was just overwhelmed with sadness. And I don't know if it was the collective, cause I'm an empath. I don't know if it was, you know, the collective that I was honing in on, as well as my own thoughts and feelings. I just feel like it's growing pains, but it was so painful. Like, I, I don't think I've ever cried that much in my life, honestly. And I felt like a sap. I felt all alone. And, you know, we're never alone, truly. We have our guides, our, our higher self, our angels. They're all with us. But if you aren't open to that, to be able to feel that, then yeah, you're gonna feel all alone when you're going through tough times, or you're just gonna always feel alone if you're not tuned into that frequency of knowing. And yesterday, even though I knew I wasn't alone in all of this, boy, did I feel it. I felt like there was no one in the whole world and I was just lonely by myself going through this horrible pain with no, no one to turn to. That's how I felt. In reality, that, that is definitely not true. I have a wonderful support system of friends and family, but 
that was my current energy yesterday and uh, it was just hell total hell and I wouldn't want anybody to have to go through what I did and feel all alone like that because it's not a fun place to be and I would urge you if anybody is going through you know growing pains difficult times knowing that please reach out to anybody me I'm here for you anybody friends family you think that you're all alone and that nobody's gonna help you through tough times but just know that like the saying this too shall pass it will pass like today I'd say you know eight hours <laughs> after my last hard cry um, it's it's a new dawn it's a new day it's a new life am I feeling good I'm feeling a lot better I'm exhausted I think my body is just exhausted from all the emotional release yesterday are any of you also going through this kind of oddity I mean for me it was total you know totally not normal at all this is not me this is not the way that I operates not the way that I'm normally feel of course I cry from time to time but I usually can control it I usually you know am not crying in the store I, I went to the grocery store and I was like walking down the aisles just trying to hold back the tears so I didn't freak out and it was really really hard uh, yesterday not to just fully bust out in tears in front of everybody at the grocery store but I was definitely crying and it was just a stressful total body exhaustion you know when we go through purges of being sad it really depletes our body and I'm definitely feeling it today. I'm exhausted. Really super tired. Um, so everybody that's out there that's going through difficult times, emotionally, physically, mentally, I guess that is emotion. Um, please reach out. Reach out to someone because I would never want someone to go through what I went through yesterday and I went through it alone because I didn't want to burden anybody else and that is my flaw I guess I've been that way since I was five I remember when my grandmother passed away my mother's mother and my mom was just a wreck my dad was crying it's only I'm, I've only seen my father cry, cry twice in my life and um, my mom said why aren't you crying and I said because I don't want to make you sad mommy at five years old I was aware of how <laughs> my actions could you know impact someone else's feelings if I'm sad I'm gonna make my mother sad etc and so being cognizant of that level of emotions at five you know fast forward many years later and I'm still the same way I don't really rely on anybody um, you know I talk to certain people in the family if I'm going through some stuff but I really feel like I'm burdening them even though it's probably not true I need to learn how to manage these emotions and transmute them you know a lot of spiritual people they're always talking about transmuting energy and I thought well how the heck do you do that you know negative energy or sadness 
And I guess it's pretty much you take that emotion and then you turn it into unconditional love. And, you know, even though I'm going through things and dealing with some people and some issues, I have totally learned that no matter what, I'm not alone. And even though I'm right here sitting here, it looks like I'm alone, but there's so many energies that you can't see because we're limited in the 3D world. Um, and the people that I've been having, you know, some difficulty with, they're loved so much. They're loved unconditionally. And I let them know that. And once I got my feelings out and worked through that and transmuted that sadness, it was like a burden was lifted off and I just bawled my eyes out. And, you know, I don't know if you know this, you probably do, maybe you don't, that when you cry, toxins are released from you. They come out in your tears and so I must have had a ton of toxins uh, released yesterday because I probably cried about five of ten hours, like constant. And so today I'm exhausted, but I feel a lot better. Yeah, there's some level of, uh, there's still some level of residual release and sadness but I know not to give up I know that I can focus my energy and I want to be in alignment with source because once you're aligned with source energy which I wasn't I was not in alignment with my my higher self and my source energy God whatever you want to label it and the closer you are to that alignment the more beautiful you feel and I wasn't and I don't know if it's because something tried to destroy that I don't know exactly where it came from I just know that it needed to be addressed and purged and transmuted whatever you want to call it and worked through because you can't just stuff your feelings down and then think that everything's going to be all right because you're just going to have the same thing over and over like Groundhog Day. It's just going to keep coming back to the surface and bubbling over to where you're going to have like this breakdown and it's not fun and I don't wish this upon anyone. Look at that beautiful sunrise. Hopefully you can hear the ocean behind. It's just healing, you know. The, the beach has negative ions and it's super good for us. It's like what's in the Himalayan salt lamps um, or the salt rooms. And boy, did I need this just to breathe it in and <sighs> let go. And just sending love out to everyone that may be going through difficult times, whatever your situation. You know, there's all types of situation that causes sadness, um, depression, and just to know that there's so many options for you to not have to go through that pain and suffering alone or what you deem to be alone. Um, I would suggest if you don't want to talk to someone, if you're just embarrassed and don't want to, you know, you can always reach out over messaging. You can message me here. Anybody ever wants to talk, please feel free to email. My email is uncle. I know it's funny. Uncle.tt at att.net. Please feel free to reach out to me or any friend, family, stranger, any kind of group that may be able to help. 
so you don't have to go through difficult times, painful times uh, alone. But remember, yes, you're alone physically, but mentally, you know, spiritually, you're never by yourself. So try and tune into that frequency of source. And once you can be aligned like that, you'll, you'll feel beautiful. You'll feel loved. And just like the sun that's coming up right now, I feel the warmth on me. It's brightening, it's brightening literally the day and bringing a new refreshed vision for today and the rest of my life. I mean, this impromptu video that I just said, man, you know, I, I really need to, I feel, I feel the urge to make this video because if it can help one person feel comfort, then I've done my job. You know, I'm not here to massively awake or help millions because I've learned that one person at a time you are helping the collective and so I'm here I'm here for you and anybody else that you feel like this would this video would help them uh, to get through things and to turn your sadness your anger your unhealthy thoughts and feelings into pure unconditional love of self and others. No matter what you've been through, just know that when you're in alignment, you're going to feel beautiful and whole again and, and loved. Just this unconditional, beautiful love that you're going to feel about yourself and everyone else. And all that pain will just go away. It might take a while because working on self is our job, especially when you're working on being enlightened and evolved and expanding your consciousness is why I made the channel because that's my goal is to learn feel these things and learn from them. You know, a lot of us too, we're always tuning in, looking, looking for answers through other channels and that's fine. But ultimately, you know, people are always saying, how do I find the answers? Where do I find the answers? Guess what? You know where you find them? Right here inside. All your answers lie within. You just have to be open to ask those questions and work on self. You know, I listen to frequencies every day. There's scalar, scalar frequencies for healing, um, all kinds of healing modality through like YouTube. I listen to, I just put it on in the background. Um, our subconscious runs 95% of what we do. So I listen to reprogramming negative subconscious into positive. And I think everybody can do that. Everybody can benefit from it. Yesterday I didn't because I was transitioning to another place. And um, on a lighter note, I'm going to be doing another video as I travel, which will be in a few days, a couple days. And um, hopefully that will be a lot more lighthearted. And uh, I just want to let everybody know I love you all. And reach out. Reach out to someone who may need this, may need some help. If you're the one who may need some help. Please reach out. Don't go through that alone because it is not fun. It's hell. And I don't want anybody to go through that. Nobody should go through anything here 
feeling that way. It's just, you know, if you can't tune into your higher self and source and your angels and spirit guides, then find another human and get help. Whatever you can do to make yourself feel better and transmute that that pain into positive and love all right i guess i've blabbed enough for 20 minutes i love you guys um don't go through it alone and remember you're you're never alone but if you're having so much pain and so far out of alignment with your guides and source and higher self you're not gonna be able to feel that love and knowing that you're not alone so please reach out there will be light at the end of the tunnel there's always going to be a new day to start over it's the first day of the rest of your life do something good and positive with it i love you guys thank you please share like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and so you'll know next time I come up with an impromptu video. Um, peace. Make it your day and how you want to live. Peace. Love you guys. Thank you.